my friends, MD Vegan. <laughs> I make a fruit salad. That is one of my favorite meals of all time. Colors and fragrances. You know, the shapes of fruit, they all have, they all are just to take and to, <laughs> to enjoy. Yeah? It's so easy. You just take them and you don't need to do anything. You don't need to cut any trees or whatever. Just take them and they're ripe fruit and enjoy. So easy. <laughs> And they're full of high vibrant energy, full of sugar. And that is a sugar, a special kind of sugar together with the whole fruit, not on its own, but together with the whole fruit. It um, is the perfect fuel for our body. The cells, our body cells, they burn glucose. And glucose is the sugar that comes directly from fruit. So it's the easiest way to digest. Of course, it's a little expensive. Fruit uh, takes a lot of water to produce, and that makes it very expensive as compared to vegetables. And nuts are even more expensive, but we don't eat that many nuts. They have too many calories to fat, so we eat some nuts, of course, regularly, but we would eat a lot more fruit. And then, then I would say they are the most expensive food we have. No wonder, look at them, these colors. <laughs> it's a beauty. <laughs> you see that. They must be expensive, and they are. But we have a great chance here. I'm very grateful to live in these countries, in the Western countries. A lot of disadvantages here, but um, the advantage is we have all, all kinds of food here. So we have plenty of fruit everywhere available, in the cities at least, in Germany for example. That's a big gift here. Okay, I'll take advantage of that and make all these kinds of fruit. I know other ways people tell me, oh, I can get a mango here and right? this and that. I understand really that is, they have other, for, other advantages in the countryside. You have nature, you can enjoy the fresh air, you know. This is a different thing, but living in a city, we have this, for, this advantage and I take it. I take it, honestly. And so I try to encourage people to use a lot of different foods. That is a great thing. Variety in our diet makes it really healthy and becoming for us. Yeah, we thrive in variety. Our mind too likes that. And so I make these fruit salads and I often take, take certain combinations, for example, uh, perfect for a fruit salad is banana. But before I show you my fruit, I make a dressing. A simple dressing, dressing today, but I make it a little bit um, different than before. I have just a banana, some bananas and a half, and a little bit of lemon, those three medium bananas and a half a lemon here. I blend it. It's nice to have a creamy, um, a creamy dressing. Yeah. And the lemon keeps the banana light, the color. Yeah. It doesn't get brown and the oxidation uh, takes away nutrients. And that ha doesn't happen with the lemon. So the banana cream remains light, or white. And um, it also brings a nice uh, uh, flavor to the banana. The banana is usually sweet. Yeah? We would say banana is sweet and soft and very nice and pleasant. But when you look closer, uh, take a closer look, you see there is a complex um, flavors in the banana. For example, bitter flavors are in there too. Yeah? And if you bring a little bit of lemon in there, many flavors come out and the banana tastes even more like banana. I don't know if you have experienced that, you can try. Now I love this combination, but yeah, a little bit banana, uh, banana with a little bit of lemon, blend it up like now, blender dance. And um, then you can also put a, a nut or a seed in there, have like a cashew nut or so, and it turns into a, a silken cream. But now I have only the banana and the lemon, so no silken effect here, just a nice little cream. And um, because I have another plant for today, I'll show you in a moment. First I'll show you, I have here my little bowl for my, or for my, um, for my um, fruit salad. Um, Okay, before I put now, <laughs> oh no, that's okay, okay, I can show you, okay. See here, I do know. So here, the, the bowl for the fruit salad. The dressing goes in first today. You see the banana cream. A little bit yellowish, but not dark. And 
has a wonderful flavor. Banana and lemon are perfect. <clears throat> and as I said, I think you can put now a little bit of nut in there and blend it up. Or nut would be more nutritious and more silken creaminess. A very nice creaminess. Uh, it's good for many purposes. But today I don't take the nut. I take a, a raspberry here. Frozen raspberry thawed in a metal container on a water bath. And here are the thawed raspberries and I cannot blend them <clears throat> because and you see what is more nice here is, a, is this red juice you know when you freeze it and you thaw it and you have this can you see it? I don't know can you see this the juice a little bit you see a little bit the juice here I can't show you now otherwise it fall yeah you see the juice here um, you want to see it you see it in a moment uh, because when I blend it <clears throat> the seeds in the raspberries they uh, break up and then they are scratching in the throat a little bit I really don't like that effect. Some people don't care. I do. I, and I just why I just take a fork like this and mash the raspberries into a mess, raspberry yeah, jam, jam if you want, or jelly or so, or mousse. That's easy because the raspberries are so so soft. Yeah, but the seeds, yeah, you should not break them down. I would recommend you if you like, if you don't, if you don't care, just blend it with the bananas. But I don't like that. I tried it once because I saw it on the internet. I saw some recipe that blended uh, uh, raspberries and uh, I didn't like it. It was a scratchy a little bit. So I just do it this way. Uh, so have a nice little um, coolis, as they say, yeah? some kind of, of mousse yeah? or juice. Yeah? Can also, what some chefs do is also they have a micro sieve, put the raspberry in the micro sieve, and out comes. The juice, the coolest, then, yeah, it's a nice thing put on plates and so. Um, but then I don't have the, I don't have the seeds either. Yeah. But I know I like the seeds, but that's why I don't put it through a sieve. The seeds are nice, but they should not be broken up. That's my opinion. Yeah. So I have now the seeds, uh, the raspberry crush. Show you what it looks like when I put it into the uh, banana cream here. Lemon banana cream here it goes here in the raspberry mousse. I <coughs> um, combine a little bit here. See, and that is, now that's my dressing. Yeah, the raspberries together with the banana cream. It's one dressing. Looks a little bit different than when I blend it, but as the raspberries are so nice and soft, mm, I have a wonderful flavor. It's perfect for dressing. The raspberry flavor is a little bit sour, and together with the sweet banana here, see? Wonderful. The perfect dressing for a fruit salad. It's a new, I didn't dare do that before. <clears throat> and now I show you my fruit salad. The first idea was bananas with this dressing. I thought, banana, yes, the sweet banana with this dressing. And here we go, I put the banana right, right in there, my third ingredient, first ingredient here. Some slices of banana. I guess that will be perfect. Banana. Then I have mango and papaya. Mango and papaya are the classical breakfast fruits because you can eat it as is and they are keeping because there are a lot of fiber in both. What are super healthy. The papaya is a little bit more gentle in flavor, more neutral. Can do with a lot of seasoning like this. A, a wonderful, flavorful, uh, intense dressing. The raspberry flavor and a mango has a much flavor on its own yeah and both have different health benefits um, the papaya is said to be good for the eyes and the mango they say is good for the skin in India where they always eat them they're very high quality over here in Germany you don't get that great quality usually they're very, very expensive too so don't have them all the time but in India I've been there once or several times uh, they have the most wonderful papayas and mangoes and you get all kinds of qualities, very inexpensive and they know a lot. They have a lot of um, um, experience um, with their health uh, system, their ancient health system. They know what these kind of fruits are good for and they enjoy. They have good health also in India. People are pretty healthy there. Um, not very rich people but healthy they are. That's good. So in here I have uh, macadamias. 
a little bit crunch to add it, add to it. It's a kind of savory nut, a crunchy savory nut. It goes just in there. I always like, well, not always, but I sometimes like in a fruit salad some crunchy nuts. They make it a little bit more keeping and crunchy and um, it's a nice thing to have. Nuts, nut crunch in a fruit salad in general. So this is a new, another new fruit salad. The combination I try to explain a little bit why I combine them in that way, how I make the dressing, and um, that's way I that's the way I I like to um, um, give an inspiration uh, to also um, make new recipes uh, and um, to include a great variety of um, different food uh, plants in your diet. See. Looks so different now again. Looks beautiful, I find. And it will definitely take taste very, very nice. You can have a breakfast with these, or I can also have a small portion for dessert with the rest in the refrigerator, no problem. Keeps for a while. Um, at least a day, I mean, on the morning in the morning, in the morning. I can still eat it in the evening, that's no problem. Of course, when you once to cut the fruit, same with the veggies, when you cut them, they begin to lose more nutrients. So it's not recommended to store them over time uh, when you cut everything. Um, that's not so recommended, but for a day it's okay. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe, and vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.